Mini hairbrush, check. Whitening gum, check. Half cough drops, check. Scunchies, check. Neutrogena mini makeup wipes, check. Oil observing sheets, check. Band-aids, check. Midi deodorant, check. Tic Tacs, check. We're done and it was a big success. See you when we're packaging it. Hey guys, it's me Kayla and Callie and today we are going to be showing you guys some back-to-school emergency kit essentials. You can keep this in your locker, mm -hmm. your backpack. It's nice and portable so this is the perfect size. Before we get into this video we have a challenge for, for all of you, you watching. watching. So we want to see if you guys can like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. seconds. Are you guys ready for the countdown? Because here we go. Five! five. Four, three, two, one, ding, time's ding, up! Ding. If you guys were able to do it, then we want you to comment below something that you're looking forward to yeah. for back to school time. So anyways, guys, without further ado, we are going to get straight into this video, and we hope that you'll find this helpful. So let's get started! Woo Can I go first? So, sure, let's... So um, it's the perfect size too. It is. We have about and guys. It's less than twelve items inside. I'm pretty sure. Maybe I don't know. It's around twelve so items. So one thing that you might need is some deodorant because mm -hmm. you might forget to apply some in the morning. Yes. And, and there's. Let me just say there is nothing worse than walking around school all day smelling like an onion because you forgot to put on deodorant. And also, if you were to take a small bag to the bathroom, most people, like most golf teachers and most teachers, would know why you're taking a bag to the bathroom and if they don't know then they're just plain stupid like i'm sorry but if you're in middle Say school as it is, Callie. or in fourth or fifth grade and you're carrying a bag in the bathroom then they should know like mm -hmm. why yeah so deodorant <laughs> this yeah. was only a dollar by the way we got it at target you don't mm -hmm. need to bring a big old deodorant stick just the mini one is perfect yeah, mini ones are better because they just yes. fit in bags you will thank yourself later. Okay, so the next thing that I recommend you guys bring to school with you is a mini hairbrush because I think we've all had those mornings whenever you're just in a huge rush and you don't have time to really brush your hair and that's the worst feeling whenever you're sitting there and you're like, oh my yeah. God, my hair is not on fleek. Also, like, it's the worst. Also, something that we couldn't find yeah. is mini dry shampoo. Yes, if you also right. can't find that, a hack is. Can oh, we yes. this? Yes, so dry shampoo also if your scalp gets oily, you know, happens to the best of us. Um, and yeah, so if you can't find a mini bottle of dry shampoo, I recommend bringing a little mini baby powder bottle with you. All you do is you just kind of do a tiny dusting in your roots, massage it in, and it works exactly the same, and you smell very fresh. The your next turn. thing that is really crucial is the testing way to do things is yeah. funny products. Yes. Always keep this. Even if you have a nose, it would still be weird going out in the nose. I mean, no, there's no shame in that. If you, yeah, there's you no do what shame. You do. It might just be like a little weird. What she means is it might be more comfortable to just have your own. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because you could just run to your locker, get it, run to the bathroom. Right. It's like that easy. Maybe your friend is in need too. Yeah. Bring extras. So next up, you guys, I think it's a really good idea to bring either whitening gum, if you're allowed to chew gum, or Tic Tacs. We were trying to find Listerine strips in the toothpaste section, but they were literally completely completely sold out yeah, of that. See, with last with this year, well last year, um, I could chew gum in school. Like we're allowed to. But even if you did I had a mask on and really no one could tell. Yeah, so it just kind of depends on your school's policy if they allow it. Yeah. And also teachers. Some teachers are okay with it, some teachers aren't. So yeah. Tic Tacs might be a safer option. Or if you can find the Listerine strips, they're in the toothpaste aisle. You literally just put it on your tongue, it melts, and it's really good if you forget to brush your teeth or if yeah. you just feel like your breath sinks. Just uh, pop it in your mouth. And then it melts, and then right. it's very minty and strong. I've had one before. It is, but it works. It gets the job done. Yes. I would recommend getting like wintergreen spearmint or peppermint because the yes. purpose for this isn't like to be chewing on a big wad of watermelon gum. It's for your breath and to feel yeah. fresh. You know, like what get I like mean? a mi maybe peppermint. Yeah. Spearmint. Refresh. If someone went like <sighs> in your face, what would the smell? Would you want it to be like? <laughs> watermelon hibiscus orange or would you like to be like mint okay so if you wear makeup to school or mascara you mm -hmm. can get these mini neutrogena wipes yes they, it's, a, it's a single one but they come in a big yeah, package of a whole bunch here's like 
We got a lot of them. These are actually really, really good to have with you. Say you put on mascara and you sneeze and then you have it like under your eyes and you don't want to use one of those cheap paper towels at school. This is how many you get in about one package. You can get these at Target. It's about mm -hmm. maybe $5 and they're really helpful. They really also are. for traveling on vacation. This is not yes. related to school, but there are also very many. And instead of like taking a big tub, big thing that's like this one, this tool, <laughs> you took it at school and people would be like, oh, like if you're in gym class and it's like a little yeah. sweaty. Oh, yes. So those will definitely come in handy for sure. This sort of relates to what we just showed you guys. Yes. If you wear makeup or if you just have oily skin in general, these will save your life. These are oil absorbing sheets by Clean and Clear. They also have, they have off brand ones too that are a little bit less expensive, but Honestly, I think these are the best. They really get the job done. Um, I will actually demonstrate how it works I because I don't even have oil. You're not gonna have any. We'll have a competition. Yes. I'm gonna win. This is for all my oily skin girls up there. I, I feel you. So Ready? you just take it and you press it down on your nose or mm -hmm. mainly your T zone, wherever you tend to get oily the most, and it's very satisfying. Charlie, I don't think you get oily. Yet. You're not tiny. Oh my gosh, there's like one speckle on hers. Ready to see who won? Press it on real good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win this with flying Ew. colors. That's disgusting. I'm kidding, that's not disgusting. Yeah, it kind of is. Okay, ready? How much oil is on my hands? Let's reveal. No, it doesn't take up that kind of oil. It's just faced oil. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, I- two, two morsels. I had a little bit. Ew. But really and truly, guys, see, I wish that I would have known about these whenever I was in middle school, and I'll tell you why. I, nice, I used to just put on more face powder to mattify my skin, and then I would just be super cakey, and I didn't realize that these existed. I wish that I did, though, because I would not have used as much makeup. So, these will save your life. Yes. Another thing you might need is... One eternity later. Lip Cest! In case you guys didn't know, this is my own lip balm brand. It is called Lip Cest, and we have the flavors Gummy Bear Obsessed, Cookie Dough Craving. Yes, and Cookie Dough Craving. So these are natural and organic lip balms made yes, by the Bush ingredients Truly. are beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil, olive oil, vitamin E, avocado oil, stevia, which is a natural sweetener, mm -hmm. and flavor oils. oils these come in hundreds and hundreds of different flavors but these are perfect to bring to school because i cannot tell you how many times i've been in class and i'm like oh my god my lips feel so chapped and i lick them and that just makes them more chapped so these come it in does. yes it does that actually Sometimes makes it I'll worse come to and then my lips will be like ripped and yes, awful like, and she'd be like ew go. i can help you no girl. it's because it was and she does not like that. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She knows. B L D. I get squeamish. But. Oh, God, your lips are so chubby. You need some, like, lip set. How much are these? Like, a single one? These are $3.99. Um, but you want to use yours? Sure. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Of course. And they taste really good, too. One mm. time, I actually sit in my bed and I took, like, a oh, like this. It took a little bite. I know. And, guys, the best part about these oh, is okay, that. I'm doing too. She's taking a she's taking a little bite. Well, they taste so good, and it won't hurt you if you and eat look, it because it's natural and organic. So honestly, look away. And there is no artificial flavor. Look, the yep. white. Yep. So natural and organic. And guys, actually, I have a lot of bundle deals on my shop. So if you want to get a collection, that would actually be really smart because you save some money and you could share with your friends. There's so yes. many to choose from. I have so many. By the time this video goes up, I'll have some back to school options, yes. like back to school collections. So I know I'm doing a lunchbox collection for sure. You can collect them all. Click the link in the description box below if you would like to check out my Etsy shop where I sell these. You only get nothing on buying lip sets. Okay, guys, actually, I have the question of the day. Well, okay, if you have Obsessed, what's the oldest one? But if you don't have it, would you like to get some? And what's a flavor that you would like? Like your dream flavor. Yeah, what What would be a dream flavor that if it's made or if it's not made already? And she also has Jumbos. <gasps> and Jumbos, the will that, they're like this they're thick. Wait, can I show you? Yeah, this is a normal size, mm -hmm. but this is a Jumbo. Look at how big that is. And that's, wait, that's such a fun flavor for back to school. It's frosted animal cookie. Can I smell it? I need to smell it's that. so good. 
So yes, this is the Jumbo Lip Cest. It looks yeah. like a giant glue stick. It's humongous. It's and if you're not allowed to wear makeup, it's perfect because they don't give off any color. They just give your lips a nice, glossy, healthy look. Can I see so. you look up the glossiness? Yes. So guys, make sure you click the link in the description box to check out my Etsy shop where I sell these and you can become lip cest obsessed today and add them to your back to school emergency yes. kit essentials. You'll be addicted. You can't stop. There's no going back. So the next thing, and this is honestly, this is probably one of the most important things you could bring with you is hand sanitizer. In school, there are always germs yeah. everywhere. So this is a Bath & Body Works strawberry kiwi pocket back. Um, I personally recommend Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers the most because you can barely smell the alcohol inside of them. They just have so many yeah. fun options. And I think if you get a certain amount, you get kind of like a little bit of a discount. I think it's like five for seven now. No, five for eight. Five for eight. Oh, wow. Price went up since I was younger. It used to be five for five, but... But it's five for eight, and that's still a pretty good price because you get five of those for eight dollars, and the yeah. original price of just one is one ninety five. Definitely don't forget to bring one of these with you. And the next thing is, is a $20 bill as an emergency cash. If you get yes. your lunch money, mm -hmm. or if you or if you're getting picked up late and there's a gas station nearby, just really for anything that you would need it for. Or say your friend is out of yeah. lunch money too. You could be like, hey girl, I have, got you. So it's so just good to have some extra money. cash because you just never know. There are a few more things that we want to yes. share with you guys. Um, I actually just thought of this on the whim uh, while we were out and about. A nail file because yes. like the worst, the most uncomfortable thing is whenever you're in class and your nail kind of rips a little bit and it's kind of jaggy and you're like, oh my gosh, that's all I can focus on. You can't focus on anything if that happens. So if you have one of these, you just file it down and bada boom, you're good to go. You also may need some band-aids, pack more than two. This is just an example. Like if you just get a cut on your arm, that's not crucial to go to the nurse. Look, yeah. if you have like something like that, it's not like I needed to go to the nurse. So anyways, you guys, we have two more things in here. Um, I think it would be a great idea, I have these bobby pins together, um, to bring some hair ties for obvious reasons. For gym reasons. class or yes. tech ed. Because sometimes, because like tech ed, they're like, pull your hair out. Which you do have to so you don't saw it off. Say one of your current hair ties snaps and you don't want your hair in your face all day. It just needs to have some extra. And now there's one more thing. Cough drops. Yes. If your throat itches. Anyways, guys, that was everything that we think you should include yes. in your back to school emergency kit this year. We hope that you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please don't forget to give it a big Thanks. thumbs up. And yeah, that is it, you guys. We love you so much. And we will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Mwah.